Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Life with Marianne and Joe, and today we're going to be continuing our Christmas 2021 series here in the dining room. And I've decided to do a Victorian-inspired room here, and the reason for that is because I'm going to be doing and using the cherubs in this room. I wasn't going to use them in this application, but Marianne was a little bit sad when I told her I wasn't going to be doing the cherub tree. So I changed my mind, changed gears, and I will be doing it. So here we're going to start in the china closet and I'm starting up on the top and I'm adding in a a small tree here. This is about a two foot tree, but I'm not going to decorate this tree. This is actually a point of attachment that I'm going to be using to attach stars to because I want to make it like a starry, starry night. So here I started by putting in 100 soft white mini lights in this tree. And um, uh, I will be adding additional trees up here, but again, as points of attachment for my stars. And here are the stars that I'm talking about, which we picked up in the Dollar Tree. I want to say it's three years now, three years ago, and I didn't see them this year. I, uh, they do not have them anymore, and I think I bought about 30 of them when I saw them because um, I figured that they were going to be a once-and-done kind of a thing. So anyway, you can see that I'm you know, starting to put them into the tree. Now, I've added in two additional trees there. You see on each side of that center one, as well as lining the perimeter of the Uh, china hutch with garland as well as light so now up there i have a total of about um 300 lights so far uh you know lighting up that garland on the perimeter now i removed the doors and i did that in the fall because i wanted what's in the interior to be seen And so what I did was I dropped vertical pieces of garland down along the posts where the doors would attach and I added more lights in there. So now we're up to about a total of 500 lights that are on the garland that is in all those spots that you see on the china hutch. So now I'm adding in more stars and I went a little bit overboard right here. I um, did delete some of them, which you'll see later on. Uh, But that's what happens a lot of times. Like, you know, I'm just creating, creating, creating. And then when I step back, it's like, whoa, uh, that was a little bit too much. So I have to go back in there and thin it out. Um, But they again they're not picking up in the video they're they're so pretty they they sparkle and uh you know as soon as my sister-in-law came over and she walked in and she said oh my god i love those stars so much so um they did make an impact and i was nowhere near done so i figured okay well i guess i'm on the right track so i'm just going to continue i just need to figure out a little bit better how to do this So now what I also did was I began to add in some glittery picks, uh, leaves and what. Now remember it's Victorian inspired and I'm doing gold and blush pinks. So you see there is some blush uh, picks that I'm beginning to add in. And I really like the combination together. Here, these are the cherubs that I'm going to use. And these are a pretty big size. um, And I'm going to be using this particular type of on the uh, outside of the china closet, uh, you know, embedded in that garland. So you can see I'm adding in the blush berries or grapes or whatever you want to call them, as well as more leaves and more picks. And I'm just showing you that the gold is falling off, but you won't even see it. And, uh, you know, uh, just enhancing what I have. Wherever the cherub is, I kind of built around it and made it like a, a mini event with leaves and berries and picks and so on around that uh, cherub. So it brings a little bit of attention to each one of them. And I tried to keep that as symmetrical as possible. I then added in uh, dollar store chargers. And here are these great pair of cherub faces. And I have them on a, um, what do you call that, an easel? You know, it's like a plate stand. Uh, but that's what it's sitting. And I have that up there on the top shelf of the uh, China Hutch. And there you go. You see them with, uh, see them with the uh, gold charges behind them. I added in these glasses because they have a gold rim. 
these candle holders with the blush candles, as well as this picture and some more greenery and some glittery poinsettia uh, around them. Okay, I'm going to add in a blush pink angel on one side. Look how beautiful she is. She was a present to me from Mary Ann, as well as a gold angel with those beautiful uh, wings on that angel. One on each side is going to be there. Now, I asked my sister-in-law if I could please, please use her nativity set again that she had made a while back. She wasn't using it. I did use it about three years ago, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's very big, and she hand-painted and handmade all of this, and it deserves to be on display, not to be in a box. So, I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and I wanted to use it in this application. And again, I thought it went well with the Victorian inspired room. The pieces are absolutely gigantic. This one, this camel is really, really large. I'm trying to show you how big it is when I put my hand next to it. So it's, it's a substantial set and a substantial size pieces. And like I said, I'm very happy that uh, she gave me her blessing to use it this year in the china closet. So I hope you enjoy the final product. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Hope everybody's doing well and look for my next video coming up really soon. It'll probably be the tree for this room. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.